guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl star flames and in this video we're gonna talk about kim kardashian pete davidson they're back and up to their madness again because this is all i can call all of this drama now many people say that chase suey and pete davidson they're still together i'm seeing photographs that suggest they might still be together but here's my question and few of you guys do have this same question as well if pete davidson is still with chase suey why is it that we see pete confronting kim about whatever haven't you moved on dude like truly move on it doesn't matter what happened in the past you're in a new relationship even though we still don't know the full extent on what happened at the Met Gala. At this point in time, there are just so many reports about what happened and what transpired during that conversation. Now, more is coming out. Like, honestly, I believe that some of these stories are not factual, but some of them we can have a sense of what took place in that moment between Kim and Pete without even having to ask because Kim's body language did say a lot without saying much. Now, it is being reported that, you know, Pete Davidson and Kim believe that if it hadn't been for Kim's fame, coupled with Ye's nuisance, they could have worked out as a couple. Like, why not take responsibilities um, for your actions? Because both of y'all were narcissists. Pete is like a narcissist point one. Kim is a 10 because she's really narcissistic narcissistic right i have to keep it real now when i give kim kudos many people say oh my god you're on kim's payroll when i call out kim many people say oh my god you're a kim hater no i give justice where it is due i know how to call a spade a spade and a shovel a shovel i know very well how to situate my feelings you could not you could be my worst enemy and i still know how to give you due justice i know how to differentiate right from wrong so at this point in time i have to call kim a narcissist because we have seen so much of the blaming yay let's blame yay for this let's blame yay for that even when the reality is yay could not determine kim and pete's relationship because the mere fact that he tried to not get pete involved with kim and they still went ahead and did whatever they did because i don't really know what happened between kim and pete because both of them together were it was such a hot mess i don't know how people looked at kim and pete and said oh my god i love them two together if you love those two together you love two toxic people together because kim is toxic so too is pete um pete is just quiet toxic kim loudly toxic and that's what i believe you may say but yeah he's toxic too well at times he definitely is but we don't see him using the media as kim would neither do we see pete using the media as kim would as well but i have to say that you know with that one little moment we're hearing now that oh my god if it wasn't for yay and kim being involved in the media kim and pete would work out kim believes that pete pete is nice peace pete was sort of gentleman to her no pete wasn't a gentleman the mere fact that you have to keep putting that out there it proves that pete did cursed your ass out on that red carpet and that moment that you know we saw that body language in that still in those two still images it's given the sense that was you trying to defend yourself and usher coming there to ensure that everything was okay because listen a guy can be putting or a girl can be putting a smile on his or her face when they are about to beat down your ass because guess what that's me if i'm laughing like silly do not trust me and as such pete's laugh doesn't mean that he wasn't angry but you know what i believe that it is full time that this chapter closes but with kim having a need for consistent relevance she's gonna use this moment and she's gonna milk it for all it's worth she's gonna try to get as much as she want to get out of out of it and she's gonna put the most viable people in the mid and that's yay even when yay is in his home somewhere stuck to the wall like a gum kim is gonna ensure that you know his name is mentioned somewhere or the media is gonna ensure that yay's name is mentioned somewhere because now you know 
yay is being mentioned for this missed relationship that didn't work like come on let's keep it real you two did not work out because you two didn't want to work out and that's as i see it and if pete is so happy that he got away from kim because you know being with kim he thought he would have lost his swag and um he would have lost his identity and become mr kardashian like why are we hearing about this again like just bury this mess move on to move on i believe that um chances are kim could be using this as well to make pete's girlfriend chase so we feel out of place and to, um to make her feel like kim uh, you know kim and pete kind of have a connection there because listen kim is a narcissist at a whole different level when i tell you that this woman is a sicko she's a sicko i love kim kim is a girl that you would want to be friends with because she will always have something to tell you she will always have an idea sometimes she will be really selfish with you but i have to keep it real she's a damn sicko and i believe that this game could be about making chase so we feel jealous and making kim kardashian feel more validated and more important to pete than his current girlfriend kim does play these heavy mind games and i have to call it for what it is now again many people say kim stole that african designer design heck no every day since then someone has been popping up with that design proving that kim did not steal that design from anyone because they had that dress coming from their great grandmother so i just wanted to throw that in there to reiterate the fact that hey i'm not a kim hater i do defend her from time to time and when i do defend her i still get my ass cussed if i drag her i still get my ass cussed but guess what it's neither here nor there for me everyone is entitled to their opinion once we all agree to disagree at the end of the day keep our coming cute and sweet that's the most important thing it's all love and respect right here but guys let me know what your thoughts are because i believe that kim is about to go unhinged again with this pete story to make his current girl feel a less important compared to kim kardashian i believe the aim is to make chase suey feel as though pete is still so in love with kim and cannot get over her but then guys let's keep it real if pete was still with Ch chase suey why was it chase suey pete's plus one at the met gala that's a big question and a very important one but i cannot wait for, to hear from you guys let me know what your thoughts are and guess what we'll chat in my next video and in the comment section as well see you all later bye